Picture this. A man who wants you to find him worthy of being your president. A man who thinks you should put your very life in his stubby-fingered hands is awake hours before dawn, sloshing around in the sewers of his mind, so utterly incapable of acknowledging the humiliation of his preternaturally gloated over public loss that he finally lands on the only thing he can live with. It didn't happen. It didn't happen, okay? He's not a loser. He didn't lose. It was stolen. Stolen. Ted Cruz, who looks like they weren't too careful with the forceps when they pulled him out. He looks like Joe McCarthy mixed with a comedy mask mixed with a tragedy mask. Ted Cruz stole the election. Everybody hates Ted Cruz. Everybody loves Trump. How else could this have happened? He's ready to fucking explode. Okay? Really, people. Just imagine one of those short digits. I know, I just mentioned it. But you can't say it enough because it drives him so nuts. Because he knows that everybody else knows what having short fingers means. On the nuclear button. And yes, he absolutely would like to blow up the world over this. But since he doesn't control that button yet, he settles for turning those mini fingers loose on his keyboard. And at 5.47 a.m. on February 3rd, 2016, at real Donald Trump furiously types, Ted Cruz didn't win Iowa. He stole it. That is why all of the polls were so wrong and why he got far more votes than anticipated. Bad. Very bad. That's why it happened. There's no other possible explanation. Ted Cruz is just so bad. Hillary wins by coin flips and Cruz wins by theft. Nice world. His squat digits are moving again like plump maggots attacking the keys. During prime time of the Iowa caucus, Cruz put out a release that at real Ben Carson was quitting the race and to caucus or vote for Cruz. A dirty trick. Well, what do you expect from a Canadian who shouldn't even be allowed to be running and won't be allowed to be running by the time Trump gets through with him? It was more than a dirty trick. It was a crime. A crime, people. Fraud. Hello? He can sue. He's gonna sue. His stumpy fingers pound out his wrath. Many people voted for Cruz over Carson because of this Cruz fraud. Also, Cruz sent out a voter violation certificate to thousands of voters. Voter violation. Voters were violated, folks. You. You were violated. Those porky little sausages that project from his palm once again transmit a message to the world. Something he thinks everyone will want to focus on. His grievance. His outrage. The unfairness he's been subjected to. The voter violation certificate gave poor marks to the unsuspecting voter, grade of F, and told them to clear it up by voting for Cruz. Fraud. And not just fraud. Lies. He's being lied about. And finally, Cruz strongly told thousands of caucus goers, voters, that Trump was strongly in favor of Obamacare and choice. A total lie. It's too unfair. This cannot stand. There's only one way the world can be made right. And too bad if that world is thrilled to finally have Iowa in its rear view mirror and is beyond eager for New Hampshire to join it. The answer is so simple that only a dummy could disagree. Based on the fraud committed by Senator Ted Cruz during the Iowa caucus, either a new election should take place or Cruz results nullified. He wants to do Iowa over. He demands it. Donald Trump, alone, at his computer, makes Richard Nixon's drunken chats with the portraits of his predecessors seem like models of well-adjusted sanity. Citizens of the country, whose media has given spies short-fingered vulgarian a perpetual forum from which to spew verbal feces from the oral sphincter that anchors his porcine countenance. Let's contemplate the level of lunacy, the degree of disconnection from reality that allows a candidate for the office of President of the United States, a position in which you really want someone who seems like he's going to take care of you and not spill pus and bile all over you, 
not merely to throw such a humiliating tantrum, but to not have an iota of a scintilla of a jot of doubt that he was justified in doing so. The little detail that the media refuses to point out, though it's apparent to any sentient human, is that Donald Trump is completely insane. Yes, this is my bid to get sued by him, the modern equivalent of making Nixon's enemies list. This narcissistic sociopath, a loudish man whose grudges against various women are a centerpiece of his campaign, an odious man whose myriad hatreds define him like no American has been defined by hate in many decades, a delusional man who claims he can shoot people dead in the street and not lose any popularity over it, has been, for more than half a year, presented to us very seriously as a possible leader of the free world by a corporate media that has abdicated all pretense of doing its job in the service of whoring after ratings. A demented madman is running for president. It's one of the biggest stories of the century. For all of the coverage it's getting, how great would it be if somebody besides the comedians was reporting it properly? <laughs>